I woke up like this. Good morning. Good morning. I I I look. Uh, I. You look cute in your little curlers. Look oh. at those. Look at those little pigs in a blanket. Those look cute. Yeah. And look how spoiled Nani is. This is what goes down. Chopped turkey in her food. Mm -hmm. Chopped on fine china. I know. She's, <laughs> our, she's my, my little baby. Get she's all grown up. Oh, I was going to tell you, Mom. So, not that it's a big deal, but our mall has been kind of crappy. They've mm -hmm. been... They've been, you know, remodeling stuff. It looks nice, but most of them, sorry, you're so short. Most of them all hasn't been that great. Tomorrow's the grand opening of Nordstrom in Delamo. Here we go, the Nordstrom. <laughs> we haven't had a nice Nordstrom in a while in our area because the one in the Galleria, I know you still shop, but it's not that nice. Like the one in Galleria, it is, I don't know. I just never find it organized and stuff. I mean, it's okay. It's just not the best. Like I've been to other Nordstrom, I'm just like, how come we don't have this? So, tomorrow's the grand opening, and they're actually opening a Nick store too, so that's pretty cool. And if you are in the South Bay area, Glenn was telling me about the website. I guess if you look it up online, there's lots of things that you can get, like, shoot, but by the time you guys see this, maybe you can still do it, because some of the events are on Saturday. So I'm gonna say it anyhow. If you go on the website, there's like giveaways and things, like even for H&M, you can win a gift card up to $300, I think. If you bring in um, clothes to donate, you get 15% off your next purchase, which I wanna do. Um, yeah, so they have a bunch of like different things, even for Nick's though, but I think that giveaway is only for tomorrow, or maybe it's Saturday too, but because some of them are two first, so look it up if you're in the South Bay or in the area and you go to Delamo Mall, grand opening it's tomorrow. Excited to see that. And I'm not really like the biggest shopper because I'm not, but I need to find uh, an outfit basically for my engagement party. So I ordered one dress from BB. I haven't opened it yet because I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, so I'm gonna try it on. Uh, later though, when I'm in the mood, I have to be in the mood. And yeah, I'm an online shopper, that's why I use Ebates all the time and I get cash back. So, so today what I'm gonna have for breakfast is Red Berry Special K, and then I'm gonna add in my own strawberries, and then the milk I use is lactate because yesterday I had my gurgles, do not need my gurgles again today, and this is just the milk I have, and I use also Silk sometimes, but usually mainly lactate. And does anybody do this to their cereal? I have to chip clip it. I just feel like little bugs are gonna get into my cereal. Bam! Oh yeah! I don't like too much milk. That'll probably just be it, because I like my cereal crunchy. This mug's so cute, I got that one at Target. So, the one I'm going to do is I have vanilla from Starbucks, or I have vanilla beans. So I'm gonna do the Starbucks one, just because we don't have that one left. I actually already have my French vanilla creamer in there, because I like when it pours like into it. It's just like And I actually do it just so when the coffee goes down, and it already mixes, so then I don't have to like waste a spoon or anything. I love that sound. So I just finished my breakfast, but I was reading the comments right now, and thank you so much for the suggestion, uh, saying don't put giveaway in the title and all that. I haven't done a giveaway in that long where that didn't even hit me, uh, so I'm definitely going to do that. So a lot of you know I have an engagement party coming up, and isn't this so cute? So me and Glenn bought this little card box for when people bring us cards, and we're gonna put them in here, and it was at Party City, and I think this thing was $20. We were actually originally going to make a box and then just wrap it and cut a hole, but I just thought this was so much prettier, and I mean, it's our first and only engagement party, so we might as well get something that's much nicer. So yeah, I just thought this was so cute, and then, you know, hopefully we can keep this in good shape and store it away, and then use this for the wedding, so it's like you get to use it twice, not just once and hopefully it doesn't get like dirty and stuff. But I don't know, I just thought this was just so cute. So I'm testing out some eyeshadows and these are the new Makeup Geek Duochrome. My girlfriend, Mrs. Lola Lynn, was talking about them. She said she really liked them, so I definitely wanted to play with them. So they sent a bunch of vloggers, like all their shadows. I guess they came out with some pigments, but they're having issues with their jar, which 
I'm excited to see those when they fix whatever happened. I don't know what happened, but I'm really excited about these shadows. They're really, really pretty. I want to do, hold on, I can't even see what I'm doing. I want to do like a swatch video on them. How can I do this? Let me, oh shoot, I just swatched a new one. But they're really pretty, so they have like refract, refractive, refracted, reflective like, because they're duochrome, so there's like two colors in one. That's what I'm trying to say. But they're really stunning on the eye, especially in person. Like when you see this in person, it's glowing like a lot. I'm vlogging off my phone right now, but yeah. Okay, so you can see, like, look how pretty and glowy that is. That is so pretty. It's called Ritzy. And then I have like another one here. Okay, so I'm going to make lunch now. And I'm going to try out this new chicken I got at Costco when we went with Glenn's mom. I haven't tried it yet, but Glenn's is really good. So it's fully cooked already, seasoned bowl is skinless. So I'm going to try this and I'm going to eat this with some brown rice. He says all I have to do is just take it out and then heat it. So see, quick and easy. That's exactly what I need. And how the hell am I supposed to do this? <laughs> So Glenn said all I have to do is just thaw it out in the container it's in. So hopefully that'll be good because it seems like it's already thawing out. Because I read it and it said thaw overnight. Um, I gotta eat right now. I'm telling Mama Whoop Whoop, why isn't she wearing her tennis shoes? I bought her tennis shoes. The one that she wanted. Tell them the ones that you wanted. Skechers. I have Skechers with a little rhinestones. Rhinestones. So right now I said, how come you're not wearing your tennis shoes? Because she's gonna have falling. And then what'd you say? Vanity before before beauty. Vanity before, before beauty. beauty. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> disinflate that. Okay. I have to disinflate this thing. Then I'm with my chicken. I'm gonna make some mas fancy rice. This is ready to serve. This is the most gourmet rice you have ever seen. It's delicious. I mean, all the steakhouses use it. And then I might do some veggies. These ones are sauced, which honestly, I don't care. I don't really mind the sauce. Uh, yeah. And I think I might do that. And then I might just make one thing of the rice and then eat half of it and then make all the vegetables and then just make two dinners so I can eat one after the gym. I need you to stop, please stop, please stop, I'm so hungry. 20 minutes later, it is still not thawed. Um, I'm really hungry. <laughs> I almost just wanted to order sushi just because it's quick, but I wanted to eat what I have here. But dang, that's taking a long time. This is cooking Lizzie style. So now we're gonna so gracefully place it in the tray. Now there's three ways of doing this thing. Microwave, oven, barbecue. I almost wanted to turn on our barbecue, but I was like, it's already been so long. Oven, I wanted to, but I was just like, eh, let's just go the fastest way. So I need to carefully poke three to five holes on top, microwave on high for four, to, uh, four minutes until hot. So let's poke some holes in this. This is Chef Lizzie. I'm really glad that Glenn likes to cook. So let's poke hole number. Ugh. BRB. I will say, when I cut my three little holes, the aroma is very good. I'm excited. My gourmet vegetables are done. Now this baby's gonna go in. Looks like the finest seasonal vegetables are finished. Gonna just place this in a bowl. Oh, these are really cheesy. I've actually never bought this before because I've gotten the lightly sauced, but this one looks like really sauced. Okay, might be my last time getting this one. I didn't think it was gonna be this cheesy. I mean, I like some sauce, but I mean, I'm still kind of trying to be healthy. It's a thought, an initiative that I tried to take that counts. Okay, I'm kind of sad now because I thought I got lightly sauced. That's like really cheesy. I love cheese. Okay, what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna waste it. So next time I'll just make sure I don't get that bag, but. Yeah, what can you do? Like I said, I'm not like putting myself on some strict diet or anything like that. Um, I've just been eating whatever I eat and working out harder. A lot of you can tell that I've lost like some weight in my face and stuff like that. I've lost some weight like around like my waist area and my hips and stuff like that, so I'm happy. But like I said, I'm not like drilling myself, just, you know, making better choices within the week and stuff and keeping more of a schedule instead of eating like one big ass meal and then that's it. Just going with the flow on it. The flow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now for this brown rice, all you have to do is just take off the film and just heat it for 60 seconds. I'm gonna stick my extra veggies in the fridge with the extra chicken because I'm not gonna freeze that because I'm just not. 
Wow, that's a lot of marinade. <laughs> that's a lot of marinade in this. I didn't realize how much chicken was in there. These are pineapple chunks with like three more chicken breasts in here. And that's a lot of marinade. Wow. I'm like, I was thinking I was gonna eat healthy. It's skinless, boneless. At least I got some brown rice. Uh, yeah. Oh well. So I just put part of the rice just because this is plenty. I'm cracking up right now because someone just made a comment and it's definitely someone who watches my vlogs and I'm, I don't know why I found it so funny right now. I had to like, oh my god, I straight up, <laughs> sorry, I have a food on my mouth. <sighs> sorry about that, just real life. But someone, I saw a comment on the video and it just said, you never told us what the gym girl's name was and I'm cracking up uh, because... If you followed my other vlogs, there's a picture of a girl in the cycle room, so I definitely have to do that tonight. I hope I remember. I have to like tell Glenn, but it's so funny. So hopefully I get to reveal her name because I totally forgot I never did that. The chicken was really delicious, as you could tell around my face. Yeah, it was kind of salty. I mean, it wasn't the healthiest meal, but what can you do? Like I said, uh, yeah, I'm just... What, what can you do? That's just what my lunch was. I forgot to show you guys yesterday. These are the lip balms I got. It's strawberry sorbet and wild berry. I love the mint one, but obviously I wanted this because it's a good cause. And yeah, plus I like pink and it's just a win-win-win-win-win sitch. So, I'm in the parking lot of Michael's. I just got out because I couldn't vlog in there. I was, you know when you just have like a motive, like I had to get certain things done. So... I filmed at my house. I kind of changed my like location, just not like a lot, but I don't know. The video was funky. Like I was super hot and sweaty and then, yeah, I don't know. Like a bunch of things started going wrong. My freaking light fell. I don't know. I accidentally kicked it. It was just like a bunch of like annoying things happened just like yesterday. So I don't know what happened like today too. It's not the best video. I'm sorry, but I wanted to put out content. Then I wanted to explain something about my Friday boop boops too. I got some decorations that we needed for the party. I just want to make sure that we have like enough stuff like on the wall. And so I wanted to go get some of that and everything is so expensive. We're doing a DIY and in my head I was like, DIY, everybody said it'd be fun to do a DIY. It'll be cheap, they said. It'll be fun, they said. But it's not bad because the picture frames, what we want to do is a DIY with a picture frame. You'll see it when I put, it, put up my video, but... It's something that's really cute that you can just do like for any any occasion and any day. Like that's something that I think that is so cute just to have where I want to take, I want to start making one of like the different events I go to or when I'm with different people. I don't know. You'll see what I mean, but I think it's a super cute, memorable thing to do. So you'll see when that comes out. Sorry. And then I also got some comments asking people if I'm going to have, a, asking me if I'm going to have a wedding series and stuff like that. Uh... Not like a full-on wedding series, but like I'm going to throw in random things that we are doing DIY with. There's not like a ton, but I will have some. Uh, like I'm not going to really go through the whole process of how to plan like everything because I hired my best friend from college and she's going to be my wedding planner. So I'm super excited because i rather have someone that knows me, you know, rather than someone that I don't because it's going to be impersonal and then I'm going to be you know, working with someone like we're, you know, building a relationship with someone I don't know to build or to create, you know, um, our wedding. So I rather have someone that loves me and I love them and we have like a really great friend trip and all that. So yeah, I'm going to have my best friend from college, um, be my wedding planner. So I'm super excited to have her do that. Uh, when I told her to, she was just like, yes, oh my gosh. Cause she is someone where she loves weddings, like period, like loves weddings. I'm not going to the gym today. <sighs> kind of sucks, but I'm not mentally in the mood. I have so much going on, like a lot and especially a lot of pressure with the party co coming and I'm just going to have dinner and have a drink with Glenn because I need, I need to just de-stress. Uh, my issue is that I stay up way too late doing things and I need to just stop. I need to stop thinking. I need to, I need to just chill the hell out. Like I need a fake hand and just to slap me silly. Like girl, chill out. It's all good. It's going to be okay. I'm going to get going. I'm going to go to Starbucks really quick because I have my laptop with me. I'm going to do some editing before I meet him for dinner. Whoop. Hey guys, so I'm all by my lonesome self. I'm over here editing right now. Uh, 
I'm so lonely. Yeah, I'm just editing. Uh, that's about it. I'm just at Starbucks just to kind of like change my scenery because it gets like really tiring just working and doing everything from home and it can kind of make you go crazy because I'm not used to that. So yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else? That's about it. After this, I'm just going to go ahead and meet Glenn. I'm editing my Friday whoop whoops. My video isn't as bad as what I thought. I think I get too hard on myself, but I thought I was a little bit too dull. I don't know because I was in a really peppy mood and in the video I don't think it really shows that but I think it's just because of all the complications I had so I'm gonna continue editing and just being so lonely still so lonely it's getting dark I have nobody on my own Glenn called so I'm leaving <laughs> We're Fridays. Yeah. Friday. Even though it's a Thursday. Friday. It's on a Thursday. <laughs> Friday. What was that? Friday song? Remember that? Friday, Saturday. No, or, no. I don't know. Something on a Friday. I like to get down on a Friday. Or oh, something. I don't know. Um, I forgot. It was an annoying like, song. It was on YouTube. Oh, really? No, from Rebecca Black. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's how she goes. Monday, Tuesday, what, or whatever. She says like the days of the week. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, sir. I'm okay right now, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't want no water. I just want this liquor down my throat. <laughs> Hell no. H2O. Huh. No, I like uh, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Yeah, he's drinking Dr. Pepper. Oh, this is a strawberry. Is this a strawberry margarita? Yes. No, that's the oh, no, the margarita. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I want the alcohol. <laughs> I need it. I might double. Double. You got the double. Double that. They put it in two different size glasses. Big Papa. Little son. I love it when you call me Big Papa. Put your hands in the air. If you, you ain't a player, too. you're not. So put your hands down. <laughs> and we were just talking. I guess we really are. We're going to Universal Four Nights. It's called. Yep. I don't know if you guys did. I vlog last year. Uh, no, actually you didn't. Last year was very traumatizing for me. After we went in the break, because I'm a very jumpy person, naturally I jump all the time. So when we went in the first maze, I was so terrified because it was completely in the dark. It, it was just so scary. And so then when we got out of the maze, I was drenched in sweat from my head all the way to my toes. Like I'm talking about even back sweat. So up behind my thighs, everywhere. Mm. So I'm definitely going to vlog when we go there, if we go there. And we're going to go with his brother and sister, right? Yeah. And now, his brother is single. Just putting it out there. I'll stop. So now our new favorite show is Paranormal Witness on Sci-Fi. So we watch it on demand. It's scary. We're just going to hang out. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow.